Yeah. <laughs> no, there are some people who complain, like, oh, there's roaches. So naturally, I was the motherfucker looking under the, the thing. <laughs> you, I you, checked. You got your I little ch- goggles on. And shit. I checked. Like, like, oh. But no, they, they, that no. place was clean. There ain't no rocket pubes up in the middle of the fucking... <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, wait, there's some wait, motherfuckers. Wait, was, it, was it motel or hotel? It was a motel. Oh, uh, it was a motel. Okay. It was motel okay. as a motherfucker. It was just like, it might, like I'm not going to say the place was seedy, yeah. but you know, when you think of a motel, you think of a seedy fucking motel. Where you yeah, yeah, for sure. Who are you? For, for, <laughs> get your head on. Get some dome. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I, pro, disclaimer, I've never done that. I'm not into that. I'm not a hit it and quit it type. I need to wake up and give you breakfast and then kick you the fuck out. I can attest to that. He's kicked me out a few times. But you enjoyed it. I didn't complain. Exactly. Five star review. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Mm, Asians. <laughs> I should want chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're looking to look get a chokehold now. Huh? <laughs> Spicy. Ah. Okay. All right, go so ahead, go ahead. you know, so that was Friday. You okay. know, all together. I might have missed out on some things. I think I even might have. But I mean, ultimately, that was the gist of Friday. Okay. Saturday hits. Man, it was like it, it sounded like Friday was just like a slap in the face. In a way, because I, in my wildest dreams, I was gonna go there. You know, I was gonna open. I was gonna open up the backpack, and a rainbow was gonna come out, and like everybody's like, "Oh my god, I heard mm. of you!" But mm. ain't nobody heard of me. I'm yeah. so low. To, I'm so low to the ground. I'm growing roots. Mm. But that's also what I was doing. I got. I got, I got some. I got some suggestions for you. Since I'm a salesman, oh, yeah. I got some suggestions for you after you tell me your story. Oh, okay. Okay. Because actually, you might like what you hear about the story yeah. marketing wise. Absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's go. So I'm walking. So like I said, now one thing that didn't dawn on me was like I said, I didn't do any stretching. I didn't go in with like comfortable shoes. I went in my combat boots with a big ass backpack full of books, carrying around my flagpole. You know, and by the end of the day, I had like a, a weird stitch all down the side of my calf to like where it was cramping my foot inward so okay. i'm like i had to like stuff up the the bathtub and fill it up full of hot water and i'm just like okay half an hour there you know it's, yeah. yeah yeah and plus you know but now i did go to bed early because i'd also woken up early and i know there's some like you were saying did you stay until after 10 no motherfucker because ain't nobody buying my books yeah, yeah, yeah. might as well go get some rest wake up early yeah. and then hit the... like i say he's there for business exactly you know when i went it was purely for pleasure yeah, but if More I can ways get, than one. <laughs> but if I can get pleasure with my business, I'm down for that. That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. And, uh, now, so Saturday. Saturday yeah. hits, and I immediately got my game plan. I'm like, you know what? I really like the feel of passing out those postcards, and I really like knowing and seeing people take the cards you know, from that place. Yeah. I'm just going to paper everywhere. I'm going to start hitting as many places as I can. So I went to a couple of panels, you know, threw down, like, literally just wham, wham, throwing down my postcards with a fan of, just on chairs, just random places. Anywhere that is not the artist alley or the artist vendors, because I was worn by on the page. The reason why I even went to AkiCon is because they told me you didn't have to buy uh, the tables or the booth, but you are going to have to stay out of their way. Yeah, you know, as long yeah. as you don't fuck with their commerce. Because that's cool. like their area. Yeah. Because you know, they I, paid for that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. one thing I forgot. Uh, Friday. Uh, Dan, the, the, the dude that was... Um, I don't want to call him a super nerd, but he is a pro con goer, you know, and like okay. I said, dressed so, up like Edgar from Final so Fantasy VI. So a, ve- a veteran nerd, or a or veteran nerd, veteran con. No, yeah, you can uh, wear it too. He, veteran he nerd. was a okay. veteran nerd. Okay. Veteran nerd. Okay. And uh, and actually, it was kind of adorable because he baked David Vincent and the QA panel cookies, and so I'm the motherfucker on the back. Did you put love in them? <laughs> you can't have cookies without love, man. <laughs> Whew. Now, he actually met up with me later on on Friday and actually was really cool by pointing out different panels I can go to. You know, because this is my first convention, and he gave me a lot of good tips. Just on Friday, despite the fact that I was waiting through so much spaghetti. So much spaghetti. I like spaghetti. I don't. I do, because I, I get to put it around my finger. I don't want to touch it. I might get his cooties. So anyway, <laughs> seriously, con cooties. Now, oh, that was another thing about Friday that I found out, because when I was going to head over, well, before I left Bellingham, I was thinking about heading up to Walmart, because the Walmart locally here has got, like, a big-ass thing of emergency or something, or airborne, for, yeah. like, eight bucks, yeah. and, like, literally, like, 30 or 50 packs. Actually, when I went to PAX, that's the first thing I took. Exactly. I but I how... forgot. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, shit. Exactly. So yeah. when I went to Subway, I noticed there's a liquor and wine store next door, and I'm like, you know what? Hell Why no. not? They had airborne there? I get in there. <laughs> I ask the guy. He's, story. He, story time. Yeah. He's a. He's a. He's, he's side quest. T- side quest. Side quest. He's side got quest. the the towel going on. I think. I think he was. It was. A, no. 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 He didn't. He didn't. But he did have the thank you come again going on. Okay. So it's cool. Right. You know. And you know, a tall white dude. You know, get buying wine or whatever. And I'm looking around. I'm like, hey, um, do you guys happen to sell airborne here or wallborne? And he's like, no, no, we don't sell things like that. We don't sell. And then the white guy turns around. and goes, hey, got some emergency over there. And indeed, he's got three, he's got three big ass boxes, the, Walmart and, and, style, and they were like never bought. 
Because he kept saying... Ain't nothing in there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they had like tropical, super orange, <laughs> and something else. And I was just raspberry. And I was just like... Because that motherfucker is... thought it was candy. Exactly. Yeah. So I asked him, well, hey, how much for the, how much per packet? He goes, uh, 20 cents. I'm like... God damn, dude! Thank Twenty you. cents. Twenty cents. A Twenty pack, cents, yo. dude. You can't. That's like Kool Aid levels. I don't even drink the Kool Aid. That that is well for, well for prices. <laughs> 20, <laughs> for, for, for emergency. For emergency, emergency? bro. Damn, emergency. Dude. So I got me like five of them. I'm like five or six of them. I'm like, bam! Got me some fucking. Like, you just chewing shit all day, dude. Dude, no, I was got some Dasani, and I was just down in that shit. Up. Motherfucking Dasani. One in the morning, <laughs> one in the night, one in the morning, <laughs> one in the night. So yeah, it was it was all good. It was okay. good, okay. and I think that honestly saved my ass. Yeah, no, dude, no, them con cooties will get you. Yeah, they're yeah, it's a it's a petri yeah. dish, man. It's nasty. Yeah, yeah. But um, so that was Friday. That was Friday. So Saturday, um, I'm trying to think of what happened Saturday morning. There's something awesome. Oh, whatever the fuck. So uh, I ended up catching the Monica Real okay. QA panel. All right. Uh, and then shortly afterwards, the whole QA panel. But um, so Monica Real, she's doing her thing, and afterwards, I I didn't say anything because it was like packed. The David Vincent Q and A panel is packed, but like, oh my god! Like there was motherfuckers sitting on the ground. Were there, more, to her. Were, were there more dudes than girls? Actually, I think there was quite a few girls. More girls than dudes. That's good. Yeah, sure that's enough. good. Sure enough. Okay. And it, and same fucking questions. How do you be a voice actor? Yeah. And she tells them the same damn thing. Fucking. And I know some of these motherfuckers heard it because I saw some of these motherfuckers at the motherfucking David Vincent well, well, panel. Well, you know, you know, they're just they're just sweating it. That's all it is. I mean. And here, here's the thing. I work at a video game store, man, and like I gotta say, like gamers are uh, are an odd bunch, you know, because they're they're. Well, in... Fuck you, pal. <laughs> that's I'm, true, I, I'm one of them. I no, mean, that's, that, true, that's, that's the thing. I'm one of them, and I can't even play off like that. And, and it's uh, it when they when nerds are interested in something, they they go full force. They like drop everything just to get what they want. That's true. You know, true. I mean, look at look at how they play video games. You know, they they, they, they they're going to farm, you know, they're going <laughs> to Yes. You know, so farming right, alone So is right now the... those those nerds at the Q or the Q&A, they're farming for information, you know, cuz they want to be like that top level. Yeah. So. And Lord knows I've learned a lot just doing this shit myself, right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah, so I mean just I've going to there, the con. Dude. I've been there with I've been there at a Q&A with Vic Monognog. That's not his name, real name. But Vic Mignola? Yeah, I call him Monognog. Minog I can't say that shit. That sounds almost racist. <laughs> yeah, Monognog. Yeah, Mignignog. So, uh, if you guys don't know who that is, that's Edward Elric. And believe it or not, Broly from Dragon Ball Z. Actually, Monica Rial is uh, the chick from uh, Full Metal Alchemist Winry? Brother Friends. Yeah. No, Winry. no, no, no. Yeah, Winry. Uh, Hohenheim. Hohenheim. She's Whoa. that chick. She's that chick. The the mistress? Something like that. I don't like know. his his girl? I actually haven't watched. Brother or or Friends. their their master? I actually haven't watched Brother Friends. I don't know, but oh, I think okay. it was. She was the one who was just always going after to try and kill the Elric boys and fuck with Hohenheim. Oh lust. Oh lust. No, not lust, but somebody. It's cool. Somebody Brother Friends in the Brother Friends universe. Oh okay. Not in the original. No, they're all they're, they're there too. She wasn't. It's cool. We'll check it out later. Pride. No, no, she wasn't one of the homunculi, as far as I know. The the known homunculi. Oh, okay, right? okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, so uh, so, so but she was also um, somebody in Borderlands. But she just, she just does like a shit ton a of siren people. probably. It's possibly like. Okay. But with her, I came up now. Autism time. Autism time. So I'm in line, and some motherfuckers, and he's bigger than me. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna headbutt his shit till he's dead. So you're like a juggernaut in line. Fucking yeah. walks right in front of me. Just like, yeah. as if I'm not there. As if I'm not. Yeah. Now mind you, this is a whole... I'm positive Thomas. Okay. I'm happy Thomas. I'm like, hey, let's not kick this guy in the back of his fucking knee and bust and him in the fucking just neck. Keep in mind, positive Thomas is not in his natural habitat. Positive Thomas ain't in his natural yeah. habitat. Yeah. So I just, I'm like holding the flagpole. I'm like. <laughs> mm. Someone fucking got a flagpole, dude. No, I've had my flagpole the whole yeah, fucking yeah. time. I never, I never left that thing. I wasn't Con without it. Fucking conquistador shit. Right knock there. It, I didn't knock him, but I tap him on the shoulder. He turns on, uh, uh, and I'm like, sir, the line's behind me. He kind of looks at me as if I don't know if he's trying to intimidate me or yeah, he's like, yeah. mommy wouldn't let, wouldn't say that. You know, and it's like just go. <laughs> Totally. And he just kind of walks <laughs> behind me. Now, I give Monica Rial my card. I wait calmly, you know. I'm like, yeah. uh, ma'am, ma'am, you know, I know it's pretentious of me, but still. <laughs> Once again, yeah. Do you think you can give my book a read? It's free, and it would be an honor if you read it yeah, right. and told me what. Yeah, you're being humble about it, being yeah. ge gentlemanly like. And she's like, "Oh, respect, that's so cool." Respect, and I'm, yeah. I'm gonna ruin one thing. I accosted her two more times throughout this entire thing. Later on, I found her in the hallway. Just I was passing by, and I'm like, "Excuse me, but that is a wonderful Monica Rial cosplay." I'm just saying, you got that shit tight. And she and she's like, yeah, "Oh, thank guy. you." And it then she's guy. all like, and then she said, right <laughs> and then she said something <laughs> with her low voice. And she, in fact, in the QA panel, she kept saying she was. 
voices. She, it's not that she didn't like coming, getting in with the kids' voices and the the girl voices, but she has this mature womanly voice that she yeah, that the she motherly wants to voice. Use. Yeah, that she wants to use. So she hit me with that, and I'm just like, she turned away and walked away, and I'm just like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, then of course I hit her on Sunday, shortly before I left there. She is paying for her shit, and I'm like, excuse me, and I, she knows I know, I know she knows. I still hit her with it. I'm like. I don't, you know, I think, I'm pretty certain there's a second cosplayer who looks like you. You are a wonderful <laughs> Monica Real cosplayer. And she's all like, she says the same damn thing, though. Word for word, so she says right it. Now. And I'm like. I'm so proud of you right now. But she said the same thing word for word. And yeah. I'm like, bitch, we're going to say something different. I didn't say that, but, you know, it's like, I, I don't right know here. if she was like. Right I didn't know if she was just hitting me with a fan, with a fan Like the automated response. response? Yeah, yeah, but it was cool either way. And uh, she still had my card. Mm. So I didn't even have to hit her with the card. You know, she was like, you know, she had, she's like, oh. And I'm like. Yeah. That she knew, she knew. Yeah, yeah. She knew what's up. So that shit was cool. So, um, Saturday. So I do, do I do some more role playing. And the brother man from before, the brother from earlier wasn't there. Mm -hmm. But it's cool, you know. And this is early in the morning. And I'm thinking to myself, financially speaking, I'm kind of fucked. I am at the critical point. If I don't make even one sale today, I can't afford parking tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm going to have to leave tonight, which means right. I just lost 53 bucks on a motel room. Right. And Kamal, the guy who, the GM from the day before, who made so many bad calls in the D6 best. It, it was good, but I'm a GM too, bro. Like I told you, you played a good game, but you're not me. I would have allowed me to have macheted that kid's foot off on a snake eyes. I would have invented Bull Rush right there. Anyway, he was very OCD, strict to the rules, so I All can't right. blame him too much. Okay. So, um. He was a Boy Scout, D&D &D Boy Scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we were chilling, and he goes, you know what? I really like what you were saying about your books yesterday. You mind if I, you know, maybe I can pick up a pair? And I'm like, 15 bucks? Because even though he wasn't a cosplayer, yeah. I was. it was basically, uh, my books are normally eight for ta the generalist, Taboo Zero. That's usually eight dollars. Taboo One, where's the beef? And there's a good reason why I use that line. You, you know about it? Yeah. Mr. Beefy? Oh, you'll, you'll get there. You'll oh, get there. my God. Yeah, You remember that one? I told you about that. Right. So anyway, suffice it to say, that one's 10 bucks, Or you can buy it for both at AkiCon rate of $16. Plus, I knocked an extra dollar off for cosplayers. Strangely enough, I wasn't selling anything still. But uh, I did sell it to him at $15 because he was a volunteer. So I'm like, you know what? I'll hook you up, bro. And that paid for my parking the next day. But I'm still like, I got to capitalize. I got to yeah, do something. You got to go into positive. Yeah. So, I mean, I, um, I did keep just going to various panels, various places, passing out the cards, doing the wham, bam. They had the all four, uh, well, all five technically, but the fifth uh, voice actor. Well, the fourth voice actor, I don't remember her name. She's a six-foot-tall geisha blonde, literally. Like, she works out in Japan. She works really? in... Yeah. Uh, she does a ton of voices herself, but she didn't actually do any voices. Um... But I ended up getting her as well, by the way. Just, just saying. Right. Um, at the, the I was a six foot tall geisha blonde panel. That's awesome. I went there because I wanted to see a six foot tall geisha and blonde. Did you? Yeah, but it was her. And it was like, okay. it, I was looking for, like, like there's a place over there, which I, I waited. I stayed up Saturday night just to go to this fucking place. The Beast of Hentai Cafe. Yeah, right. that's the thing. You continue, my good sir. S well, the, I'll get into that later. I don't want to ruin it just much. Okay. But suffice it to say, it wasn't what I thought it was. Like I said, <laughs> I went in there looking for the six foot tall oh, okay, geisha okay. blonde, right, right. not the voice actress. And it's yeah. like, well, shit. Now I gotta. Now I'm not gonna pick up on her the way I was going. Because I'm sorry, she's a voice actress. Right. You know, I was just right. not. I'm not saying she's out of my league, yeah. but she's already married, and that is. And I don't mess. With, I don't mess with that. Right. Mostly, mostly. Sometimes, sometimes. But <laughs> been there, <laughs> done that. Yeah. Done her. So, uh, no, I, I that was a land before time. Uh, I came from a land, I came in a landowner. Nice. So, um, for the most part, I, I actually, like I said, I went to that uh, panel, um, gave her my card, did the same thing like I always do, you know, it's like, bam. What was that six? No, no, I was at the QA panel, excuse me, the, all of them. But the fifth one was a, a Canadian voice actor who's an independent. Now, you would think I would support that because being an independent yeah. myself, but this guy is like from Canada, he's Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. Okay. You know, with the maple syrup money. Yeah. And then the, the Canadian bacon. And a, and a semi. Which is normal bacon. The queen. The queen. Yeah, semi. And, the, and their prime ministers. The prime ministers. Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, we ain't got number love for y'all Canadian, Canadian landers. But America's seen, hat. But y'all ever seen Hitalia? <laughs> just saying. If and you look like us, I'm just saying. And what's even worse is, you know, like, Canadians Not have Canadian. no, they have no chance, they have no shot anymore at saying, oh, fat Americans, you don't even want to see what I've seen at the Costco, all right? I've seen some shit that turned you white. You know, <laughs> you know, it's funny because like I think like anywhere else but here, and maybe like Blaine. No, no, I'm talking about like Pacific Northwest, and I'm talking oh. like Niagara Falls area, like New York or, or ooh, Michigan. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Like 
their their perception of Canadians probably not our version of Canada. I'm pretty certain their version is kind of close to ours, and yeah. that but it's not like as they're it's walking extreme. hockey sticks with a yeah, Mountie yeah, uniform, the super stereotype. Them. Yeah, like we see like literally the dark side of <laughs> of Canada. They look normal until they get on the road or in the Costco. Yeah, let's just yeah. say our Canadians here are not loved by the Canadians. <laughs> The real Canadians. Well, all I gotta say is, have you ever seen a motherfucker walk out with their with a huge Costco cart full of milk? Yeah. No, I mean beyond before here. Oh no, I've never no. seen that. And it's a funny. The funny thing is, like, you go to Fred Meyer, and Fred Meyer is like a local grocery store that we have here, a big chain. They got good milk there too. No, no, what I'm saying price. is, like, clearly on the fucking milk area, it'll uh, say limit three. Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah. what what happens is, like, they go shopping like four at a time, like people. Yeah. So they get three each. So they're like, you know, they're breaking the rule pretty much or bending the rule. I, I, I'm into rule bending myself, so I yeah. don't hate on that too much. Yeah. But the shit at Costco, though, man, it's, that shit can get vicious. No, yeah. And, and the thing is, it's like, it's not even like we, we don't want them here. It's just like the way they act. That's yeah, all it is. That too. That, yeah. no, they but, had to install a, uh, they did install a rule about you can only have six gallon canisters yeah, or whatever. For sure, for gas. Yeah. Because yeah. you got motherfuckers yeah. in there with like 20 fucking gallons. Yeah. Gallon and, you know, and, and we're not like. Picking on anybody. How did this even come Th- up? This is this Canada. I don't know. Oh yeah, Canada. Canada. Canadian. Because this is this is the reality. We're not making shit up. Like this is this is what happens. You know. Yeah. So we ain't, we ain't yeah, here to entertain. Okay, you. We're not we're not here to like hate on people. This is exactly what's going Says on. Says you. I'm here to hate. I have oh, I'm such not, I'm a backlog of hate to get out now because I was positive. Thomas, I was the happy guy. He's he's yeah he's been pent up. <laughs> <laughs> now um, Saturday. Saturday. Sabado. I took oppor- I once again opportunity knocked and I took it. Um, Dan, I, I accidentally lead into his uh, Pick a Path to Adventure, the anime story. Okay. And so it, I only got there right when everyone was assembling. It was maybe half a room and some of the other half. So one half was like full and the other half was kind of there. And so Dan is like trying to get people to come on up and do the story. So I'm like, hey, Dan, what's up? And he's like, oh, Thomas, want to be our storyteller? I'm like, I'm the author of The Things, baby. I'm down. That's your destiny. I'm the only motherfucker over there. So I'm like, I hope you don't mind if I plug my books. And it's like a magician's trick. I just fan everything. I got the books. I got my you're like You're like cards. that dude from Fly. RE4. What are you buying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that guy. You're that guy. Oh, yeah. I got so much porn of him gender bendered. So, wow. <laughs> gender bend. It's kind of I didn't know that should exist, but all right. It does. All right. Rule 34. If, if, there's, if it exists, there's porn of it. Literally. Even it's, Rule 34 itself. That's like rule nature, yeah. I've seen Osama bin Laden on George Bush Jr., Okay, let's let's continue. Saturday. <laughs> so, I bust out Neo Tokyo RP. Right. I freaked out Ace about this because he was yeah. one of my players back in the day. Right. And we, when I told him about this yesterday, he goes, "Let me guess, you busted out the Neo Tokyo RP?" I'm like, "Actually, yes." He goes, "What?" Because he didn't know I was gonna say. Right. I don't know if he, I don't think he honestly thought I was gonna do that. But I had to have a setting immediately, and Neo Tokyo RP is always good. Central, East, West, South, North, and the various things that goes on in each one. So we're doing it, and apparently I have a really bloodthirsty and sexy crowd because you know it goes from the uh, truck driver named uh, a garbage dump driver named Noname, they like that one, <laughs> and uh, you know runs into a uh, cybernetic dog-eared girl because nobody could because con- nobody didn't want to decide on which one. So eventually I went, you know what? How about option D, all of the above? Everybody jumped on that one. Okay. So and then Dan jumps in because there wasn't an option about um, what to do next. You know, pick her up, kiss her, that kind of thing. And Dan goes, make out with an eighty-seven-year-old man. So I immediately create a character who's his partner, who he was making out with previously. Okay. Dan was happy with it because I right. w- I enter because w- you know, I'm author of the things, baby. Ask me what things. What things? All the things. All of it. Indeed. So I'm getting that going on. They're loving it. Now, despite how I, what I just said twice already, now, the moment I saw him, I had seen him the day before, and I knew it was trouble because Handler wasn't around. He didn't have, nor did he have his find me balloon. <laughs> I'm not kidding. The guy had a Handler. and uh, We shouldn't laugh at autism, GQ Asian dude. It's not fashionable to laugh at autism. So I think it's funny. But it is. Ahead. So... <laughs> What show are you on? How dare you even think that we're not going to make fun of autisms? Come on. <laughs> I, lo- I love Rain At least Man. Me. I love Rain Man. Rain so. Man. <laughs> definitely. Def- so this motherfucker definitely, definitely uh, into anyway, the room. Anyway, keep going, keep so, so he definitely, definitely into the room. No okay. find me balloon. No handler. Okay. And twice already he's come up to the come up to the front. And he's like, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What do you think about this? And it's this, it's got Nintendo 3DS. 
and uh, it's got some kind of avatar thing in it. I don't even know yeah, what it it's is. It's a me. That's what it is. Yeah. He's, he's making me's or whatever, and yeah. I'm just like, that's nice. Now, the first time he did it, I'm like, hey, did you bring enough gum for the rest of the class? Everyone loved that. Yeah. I go, hey, you still haven't brought gum for the rest of the class. The second time he does it. The third time, the people are starting to get restless. Like, there's still people actually saying, dude, sit down. <laughs> I'm like, okay, it's like it's cool, guys. So I'm like looking at him, like, yeah, no, go back, man. We're we're busy. Come on. Yeah. So he does it a fourth time, and that's got to calm people down because it's like, whoa, 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 it's cool, man, it's cool. Just let's get him out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Looked at it. I'm like, he's like, I know, I'm like, dude, we're doing something. Go back, man. Go back. So we ultimately have to conclude it, but that should. T I did keep people on the edge of their seats, baby. Doing this panel, plugging my books, doing this whole RP thing with them, giving them the choices and the options, making up options, you know, all that shit. And it was a, just a great opportunity, you know. I didn't sell any books to them, but damn near everybody took a card. So, and some people are going to be looking me up via the neotokyorp.wiki.com uh, URL. So they're going to find me through that, yep. which is why it exists. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's that's marketing. It's that's marketing. panel. That's that's that panel. Yeah. So, like I said, I jacked a panel, and I want to point this out. I jacked a panel. Sure, it was with Dan's like saying go werewolf. He said go for it. Yeah. But I still jacked a panel yeah. on my first yeah. convention. And plus, we had to leave eventually after half an hour because Johnny Young, Bosch, and I shine. And I really was kind of afraid. I'm pretty certain that he would have hit me or something. <laughs> just because, just, 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 you know, it's just, oh, you again or something. I was expecting <laughs> that. Yeah, so, J JYB is kind of a, a he's a character. He's a hot button. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that did come up in the Q and A panel with them, by the way. Uh, they, like they had a line of people asking them to do talk to each other in their voices and all sort of shit. But um, what came up was what happened between you and Saiban or whatever, you know? Yeah. And he, he point blank, he was, like, you can tell he's glossing over something. Yeah. But he's all like, well, you know, it's more like several people had issues with the way they were treating us. And so when they did the reunion, I, I've been in a reunion with them before, but they didn't want me to go to that particular one. I didn't get an invite, so uh -huh. that's the way things go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, um, Saturday afternoon is when things kind of get kick-started. In in, okay. it's, it's where I start is, feeling. Is this the climax of your journey? Saturday. Saturday. We haven't okay. even done Sunday yet. Okay. How long have we gone for? Uh, fifty. Can't even tell. See, I told you. I it's told you. I got stories. Good. Summarize. So, <laughs> summarize. <laughs> you're gonna get Sunday. Nah, Sunday actually is a lot faster. But okay. okay. So Saturday, I'm walking around now. Mind you, that morning I had met the Five O First Legion. The Five O First Legion are a bunch of Star Wars cosplayers. I mean, all of them. Stormtroopers. Leia. They had yeah. one guy dressed as the guy that Darth Vader force choked in the in yeah. the real first movie. Like the commander. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and they do this for charity. In the real first movie. The real first movie. <laughs> okay. So, Fuck everybody who says, you gotta watch them in a certain order. Fuck you for having bad taste. Awesome. So uh, I, which by the way, some of the 501st Legion agreed. So I'm passing by and I, I notice they're not there. The tables are there and some of their cards are there, but they're not there. Instead, there's one guy who looks, he's like dressed like in a really nice suit and a fedora. And I'm like, he must be a Homestuck character. He looks like he's a Homestuck character. So I ask him, well, hey, because he's just kind of tipping back sleeping, you know? And I'm like, hey, uh, are, the, are the tables free? He goes, yeah, go for it, man. Oh, nobody, nobody cares. So I'm like, time to practice for tomorrow. So I fan the books out, fan the cards out, got my postcards right there and the flag set. And I'm just doing nothing but kicking back reading. Literally, I'm just pre I'm preparing. I'm preparing to squat and sell. That was my thing. I didn't sell anything, but I did pass out a few cards. And then all the Homestuck characters congregated behind us loudly. Doing all the Homestuck doing characters. What? Playing spin the bottle and hugging each other. They've been doing this this entire time. Oh, like, dude! And yelling update at each other, and and even worse, that was that was only like two thirds of the congregation. There was another congregation right next door to us around the stair area that were just being just as loud, yelling at other people. And I'm just like, you know, I'm cool with it. The other guy on the right hand, he knew a handful of them, yeah. so every now and then he'd whistle or he'd be like, shut up. <laughs> And I realize he's trying to sleep. Yeah. So I realize he's like I said, he's trying to sleep, but he's still like, Ugh. so I'm like, hey. Want a loaner book? Because I had a loaner book to, yeah. for people to just pick up and read. Now, the way I had it set up is I had the individual books. I had three in the middle uh, so you can buy both. I had two that were flipped over so you can read the backs if you want. And I had a loaner book so you could read at my table. This actually came at marketing. This actually came as a really great thing for Sunday. But, you know. So anyway, um, suffice it to say, that goes on for a little bit and they take off finally. All of them take off. I had been maybe there like in around 9 p.m. or so. And I'm thinking to myself... Tonight, I am going to stay up tonight because I want to go see that fucking beast of hentai fucking cafe. Mm. I want some strippers. I want some fucking lap dances. That's what I was thinking. I want some cosplay chicks to be like, yeah, I own it. Hopefully, are you 18? Are you 18? <laughs> 17? That's good. So Birthdays in two months? All right, we can do that. Yeah. You're 16, but you'll be 17 in two months? Hell yeah. Don't even need a permission slip for that. <laughs> Does your mama look like you? Get her over here. Does your daddy look like you? Get him over here. <laughs> 
So well played, sir. So that's when these two dudes pass by, and mind you, I'm like instant. I know the one motherfucker's Wesker. He's got this big bulky jacket up. Yeah. He's got the blonde hair and the shades, and he's walking like Wesker. Okay. He's walking like evil Zach Efron. And the other guy I can't put my finger on though. He's got a biker jacket like Ghost, like Ghost Rider, and he's got this this mask that's one part gold, mostly black, with a microphone kind of covering the eye. And I'm like, don't tell me. Now, what I've been doing this entire time for that, what I failed to mention is I'm like pointing at people and yelling their character's name. Okay. If I don't know it right off the bat, if I know it off the bat, I'm like, whatever. But if I have to think about it for a second, it's like, uh, that's who you are. And more, normally I'll get a smile and a yeah, or a, yeah. a curtsy or a bow or something, you know. And so. I'm like, I'm like, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. They're both going, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm like, Slade! He was, he was cosplaying Deathstroke the Terminator yeah. and made it look good. So they're like, yeah, they give me the bro cheers. They take off for a little bit. They come back 10 minutes later like, hey, man, mind if we kick it with you? Because, you know, the other table's clear. Word, I'm like, yeah, come on over, man. Yeah. And I find my Nakama there, man, my first con real con friends. And they're pretty cool. One's 19, one's 18. The 19-year-old's been coming to hockey, hockey con since, like, he was 16 or 17. Okay. Um... And yeah, they're just really cool. One's a game geek, one's a movie geek, and you know I'm on both levels, so we're just having a great time. And you know how we do it. You know how I do it. We know how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have seen some of the videos. <laughs> Y'all haven't. Yeah. Even when I'm losing, I'm winning, motherfucker. I'm fucking uh, the Ayatollah Asahola of Rock and Roller Richard Nixon. I just I'm fucking win. Charlie Sheen, my nigga. Was that Charlie Sheen? Yeah. Boom winning? You're right. Charlie? Yeah. Now, I, I wouldn't want to be Martin Sheen. He looks kind of tired. Just saying. <laughs> So, <laughs> are you, are you, are you just not Uncle Ben? Ah! <laughs> no, be just not Uncle Ben. <laughs> Uncle Ben died. Uncle, Uncle Ben's legit. He died. Whoa. What did you do? Okay, cool. But I can't see myself. And no, it's, it's coming up. Hey, mine looks like that. So suffice it to say. <laughs> so we're keeping we're keeping it cool, and that's like the beginning. That's the seeds of the mean face group. Okay. So next night, next thing I know, this really cut Filipino dude shows up. A cut Filipino guy. Cut Filipino motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, like he's got like a tight ass shirt on. It's like black with some designs, but it's just cut ass. Yeah. Tiny Filipino guy shows up, and I and and Lucas the the, the Wesker goes, Joel, what's up? And Joel's like, now, let me just describe Joel. He doesn't talk. He will grunt, nod, look at you. But when he does oh. talk, oh. no, but when he does talk, it is poignant, it is meant to be, and it's more than likely going to add on to your joke in a way that you're like, that's what I meant to say the whole time. You're right. You're That's good. Okay. Or the otherwise, the only thing you do is if you say his name, he'll look at you and, huh, or he'll, yay, try, this tricep victory stance, and he'll put like an H with a yay, yay. Yeah. So, and he does it like every time you point at him or say his name, you know, it's like, Joel, yay. So that was the beginning of the Joel faction of the Mean Face group. Okay. So we we just, and I, I was literally calling us both of them, and then we get this one chick who shows up, uh, hits a guy from Bleach, and I learned some things about her. She seems to trust me absolutely. She's pansexual, and she also hasn't slept for three days. And by the way, she's suffering auditory hallucinations. Wow, that's what I, happens when you don't sleep for three days. Actually, uh, she was cool as hell with me. I thought she was cool. Mm. I'm like, if you're the, if you're this wild and this whacked out when you're like the when you're like this, yeah. what do you like when you get some sleep? Yeah. So and she and of course she has her boyfriend Chris, who's also an Bleach character, kind of a semi-controlling thing going on with them. But if they're happy with it, whatever. So uh, okay. that's that's the assembled group. They all have the Avengers have assembled. <laughs> we're loud. We're getting crazy. We're having a good time. Yay! And you're, and you're Nick Fury. Pretty, pretty much. much. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, though, somebody from the manga library comes over, one of the volunteers, and she, I could have sworn she was that spaghetti girl from Friday. And she's all like, excuse me, but you're being too loud. Can you please? And I didn't say, bitch, what about the Homestucks? <laughs> what about the ham steaks? Right. When they were losing it, they were losing it. <laughs> yeah. But we were like, it's cool, it's cool. And even Lucas mentioned, yeah, you got Lucas and Chris, by the way. Chris was slayed. As the, Lucas, the best way to describe him is a younger white version of me with more randomness and less... Whereas when, I just, when I'm just loud and I'm coming off with my shotgun bullshit, okay. he's a Gatling gun of bullshit. Wow. And then you got Chris, who's like the opposite. He's like really kind of quiet, but he's not as quiet as Joel. He's, he'll talk, he'll talk. He'll rumble about what he likes. Okay. Yeah, tall motherfuckers. You know, so, um, so I, we, I realized 10 minutes later... We're loud again. <laughs> it's one of those things where you can't stop the thunderbolt. So I'm like, guys, we better go. And Lucas like, yeah, we don't get kicked out. So we get up. I secure my shit. Got the flagpole. And we're like, oh, we haul ass down the fucking hallway just stomping and shit. A bunch of people dressed in black looking mad. Mean face group. And they show me that there's more than two. There's more than one room of an arcade. 
There's two. <laughs> There's three all together. So uh, they're chilling accident with what I thought was a racing game. I go into the other one and realize, oh, Project Justice or Rival Schools. Yeah. So I'm busting out Rival Schools, get my ass kicked by Bowman because I hate Bowman. <laughs> I can whoop ass on Kiosuke all day, but Bowman gives me troubles. All so right. eventually I go back and I'm just like, you know, what's up, guys? And the Hits Guy girl is all like, where were you? I missed you. And I'm like, oh, you make me feel welcome. And I realize, holy shit, they're playing Virtual On. Holy shit, they're playing Virtual On, dude. And they got a the full-blown cabinet. Yeah. They don't have the Las Vegas one where it's like encloses you yeah. completely. But it's still. Yeah, it's still legit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is, oh, dude, it is so hype. It is yeah. so, ooh. And Lucas is whooping everybody's ass. Yeah, right. This kid is good. I jump in with Temujin, you know, the the, yeah. if the, 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 the regular Ryu Ken starter. Yeah. And it takes me two tries, but I went on the third. But by then I had said I was just going to, that's my last game. And uh, yeah, so basically, me and the Hits a Guy girl go to get some um, go to get some refreshment because they got free water, and I'm doing that water. And I realize there's a long ass line, and I'm like, wait, this is the Beast of Hentalia Hentai Cafe, isn't it? You know, and they're like, a Beast of Hentai Cafe. And I hear it, yeah. And I'm looking at it, and I'm going, what goes down in there? And supposedly, it's Beast motif telling dirty jokes while you sip tea and eat a cookie. Pretty much like all the other host cafes they've been doing. Mm. I'm like, you know what? Unless I'm going to get my grind on, I'm out. <laughs> I got to go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow because yeah, tomorrow's the bazaar. That doesn't suit the title at all. Yeah. yeah. So I tell the guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. You know, they got my cards. They all know me. Okay. Go get my rest on. Wake up. Get my grub on. Hell, I got thirds that day just because I, I knew I'm going to need it. Yeah. And I did. On Sunday? Yes. Okay. And then Sunday came. So Sunday, I first show up at an because I wanted that's when I was gonna get the six foot tall geisha blonde panel. But first, I went to the anime debate panel. Okay. There is Dan, and there is like five other people that I've seen for the past two days who know me by voice. <laughs> so anyway, so I sit down quietly. Cause I, it's a debate, and it's me. That's, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's that's fire and gasoline, my nigga. That's, yeah. that's like that's like that's yeah. like you might as well throw the match and kill everybody. <laughs> okay. So I sit down. Dan turns to me around and sees me, and he goes, "Oh, do you have an opinion?" I'm like, "You don't want me to have an opinion." I'm just I was gonna sit here quietly. You know what? This is your fault. The only topic I remember, I pretty much jumped on everything though. The moment he opened it up to everybody else, I jumped on it everywhere. Swayed a lot of votes too. And um, hey, debate. It's not who's the best. It's who's the loudest. Actually, carries yeah, the biggest stick, that, that. right? Let me whip it out. Mm. So, <laughs> <'cause thump. laughs> oh, what was it? If I may quote from the twisted mashup, and then Dash heard two thumps. One was the fake unicorn, uh, unicorn horn, and the second was the puka's tur already turgid and becoming erect penis. <laughs> puka. That just happened. Twisted, twisted mashup. It's it's coming out in the omnibus generalis, or the uh, twisted fairy tales mashup anthology Preview. when that comes up. There you go. So, um, so anyway, so they're all looking back at me. Like when I first showed up, they're looking back at me, going, "Oh shit, he's gonna bring it." And I brought it. The only topic I remember was Sephiroth versus Kefka. That was it. Okay. In which, of course, the the guy who I thought he was a Fedorian, but no, he was dressed up as Goemon, and it looked good. Okay. Like, uh, he actually had the best line, and I'm like, even though I jumped in, I had to point blank give him credit. I'm like, dude, that is the best line. By the way, Kefka had more wings. <laughs> that is some straight ending a rap battle bullshit with that mm -hmm. right there. Kefka had more wings. So I passed out my cards, they they remembered me, and I'm like, okay. So I went to go kick it in the roleplay room just to see what's up. Went to go kick it in the manga room, uh, the, the manga library. That's when I found out I had those chunk of cards. I then decide, oh shit, I'm late. I, I noticed I'm late. So I head over to the Six Foot Geisha. There is everybody from the anime debates. <laughs> everybody was at the same panel. So uh, at one point in time, I, now I'm sitting in the back, but at one point in time, I had to make a question. You know, that was because uh, she was talking about Japan and how wonderful it is. And naturally, my, even though I'm positive, I still got to bring it real. So I'm like, how did you, or how was it for you to assimilate into a culture that was so xenophobic? You know, how was it? She gave a really... she was white. Yeah, very. She and, gave a really honest... And she's, she's that voice actress, once again. My girl. She gave a real honest answer, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, just no, no, real, this, this is real talk. I like she this. Was, she this was straight talk. about it. Like, right. yeah, it, it, there's, it's like America and it's like any place else. There's moments where, as a kid growing up, it sucked. Because she would be playing ball with one kid one day and the next day, oh, I can't play with the Gaijin kid. You know? That shit kind of hurts. It's real. Yeah. 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 So there was that. So and then I completed my set with her. All four voice actors have received a card. Mission complete. Mission complete. Yay! Joel Faction, baby. Insert mean Final Facebook. Fantasy win theme song. Yeah. I actually did the. Da -da 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 I'm gonna edit that in. Place. I'm gonna edit that in. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah. So um, now is the time. 
Now is the time. Of course, I'm half an hour early, so I'm, I go out, get my books, get the box, and I'm just going to wait in the lobby. And then your, finally, your munitions. Yeah, at 1 o'clock, I bring the box full of books. And even though the, pa the previous panel left, uh, and this is like a big workshop area, mind you. Nobody has done anything with the, the chairs, which are in a... Death Circle, that was the name of the panel, some Homestuck thing. Mm -hmm. um, nobody, so, so me and a few other vendors who had shown up, we start maneuvering the whole room, and I'm in the corner. Now, that's a bad marketing strategy to a point, but I needed something to hold, because I don't have a bracket. I need something to hold the flag, so that's the way I figured it, just clang. And plus, it wasn't like there was a lot of vendors anyway, which are our artists, uh, the artist bazaar. But there was this one Asian chick... The mom was the mom was cute, but her teenage daughter was Misa Misa. Uh, so I'm like over here going, I got to stay away from that. And it's cool that she didn't like me because that made it easier for me to okay. ignore okay. her. Because right. I'm like over here cracking wise. And then you got, if I may plug, somebody who would eventually invite me to uh, this one. I think it's Comic-Con come January. Okay. Uh, Cutie Bites. Whoa. You wanted to show that up? They Cutie do all bites. sorts of cute stuff. Now, we uh, it's weird because her their humor, that's Jake and Miranda, their humor bounces off of mine. Well, Jake is silent as all hell, but Miranda has got that cutting wit. And it's like, you know how I get it. The, the, the sharper you are, the more rubber I am. So right, it's right. like, we're just having a good time. And it doesn't really start until some of the people are coming in and I'm doing my spiel. And after I'm done, people take cards. We don't buy anything. And I'm like, by all means, don't forget to check out my, good, my neighbors. They're good people. Yeah. And she's just sitting there and she's like, what makes you think I'm good? And I'm like, aren't you? She's like, yeah, but how are you, who are you to judge me? And I'm all like, I'm me. So, and it goes from there. Like, all day long, she's, like, cutting and in a good way and, you know, and mean way, but in the way of that I would do it mean yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So we realize that, you know, our humor is really really similar. So it's just fun all day. The Asian mommy is, like, just fucking laughing. I look over every now and she's, like, <laughs> laughing. Because she probably finally has met her match. You know what I'm saying? Like, because her mom's probably like, wow, she's kind of mean to, like... And then now she's like, someone's giving her shit back. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, and Miranda, Miranda was just, yeah. like, we were digging each other. Yeah. So much so that they invited me, like I said, to share a table with them. Yeah, yeah. A $300 table at this convention. So I am expecting thousands and thousands, thousands of motherfuckers to step up and find me. All right, right. Because I, cool. I barely sold one. Now, admittedly, throughout all the day, I had my spiel down, though, straight up, if I may. Hey, yo, you into action, adventure, urban fantasy, novellas? You like reading about people hitting each other, but with a good storyline still? I write The Good Fight. Thomas or Thomas Duder, author, pointing to the flag, yeah. author of the things. Hey, if you're if you're into this kind of stuff, uh, it's a, what was it? See, now I'm all, because uh, mm. I was great there. I was yeah. perfect. You know, you're um, in the zone. Yeah, yeah. I was so in the zone, yeah. dude. But it was basically, um, I write great violence with a better storyline. Scratch that. Better sto a better violence with a great storyline. Magic, monsters, misfits, morons, mayhem, martial arts, misfits, all and more. You know, and then I would present the 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 display I got. Mm -hmm. You can buy this one for eight bucks, this one for ten bucks. You can buy them both for six or for fifth, sixteen, fifteen dollars for cosplayers. You can read the back, see if you like it, and I even have a loaner book. I also have misprints. And hey, if you can't afford it, which a lot of people couldn't, take a card on me. It's a free download. I learned personally that apparently my free download thing is actually a lot better than I thought. Hmm. It's one of those things where apparently nobody else no published writer indies do it all the time though okay you know but but just to freely give it out there like i do with i mean it's free on smashwords free on Z on amazon taboo zero you know the general of uh, the general is free forever as it says on the card yeah yeah i live up to that you know i'm a man of my word you know i'm a man of extreme obscenely obsessive principle and free forever means for fucking ever if if I have my druthers, if if unless somebody buys it out away from me and then yeah. fucking goes no longer free, I'm still gonna launch a one man campaign to ensure that shit stays free. Now here's the thing: all those postcards that disappeared from Manga Library, but I got the cards back. People took them. People were taking the cards everywhere. There was people looking for me. They stepped up to me talking about, hey, what's the mystery of it? I saw the flag. It's the, it's the postcard, right? I never even thought about that. I thought it was just a separate thing, but it ended up being a real connected thing. Mm -hmm. People came to my bazaar, and I even sold some books. It's called a symbol. Yeah, uh, my brand. My brand! Yeah. The logo. That's yeah. The Mean Face logo. Yeah. And people were actually buying and finding me because they were connecting the postcards, which no, no explanation, just they'll find a postcard randomly in a place. Me. To the flag. And they just came up and either took a card, talked to me about it, they at least listened to the spiel, or they 
bought the book. Mm-hmm. Oh, also, uh, somebody from Industrial Credit Union downloaded my book, too, over oh, the weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. He was thinking about it. He didn't even do it from that. He just looked up Thomas Duder, author of the things. Oh, nice. Boom. Yeah, Googles. You, you just got Googled? I got Googled, I baby. Got Googled. Yeah. All right. Now, um, there is some stuff I've left out, but you know, time. Yeah. Uh, now, there is one thing, though. Once again, opportunity knocking, and I, I got to tell you at least these three stories before we wind up. So, it's the end of the day. It's 4.30. Oh, no, that was it. Mean Face Group showed up without Joel, so no Joel faction. But the Mean Face Group showed up, and they even helped me out because I had to use the restroom. I'm the, that's another thing I learned. I'm the only motherfucker at my table. Yeah. I'm paranoid as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing the dance. About to get looted. Yeah, but when <laughs> I come back, though, there's a small group around them, and Lucas is trying my lines. Yeah. But he's not... But so, so he's I, not you, so he can't do it. Well, he's trying, and he's doing yeah. a good job. Yeah. But so I step up, and I'm like, hey... Is that the generalist by that awesome author, Thomas Duder, author of the thing? <laughs> nice. Everyone gets a laugh. I get up in there. I do the line. And I hear, I didn't connect two and two together yet. I hear, so that's how you say it. Because <laughs> I do the spiel, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and Chris tells me, you know, on the side, yeah, he was trying, but he, he wasn't saying it yeah, right. Yeah. But, you know, he was trying and he kept their attention. I still gave away cards for him. Chris and Lucas, mean face group, hits a guy up. All y'all motherfuckers, much love. I'll catch you guys at the next con. Y'all should have my cards. Y'all should have found me by now. Motherfuckers. So there's that. So um, 